Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to speed up the VNC on your Raspberry Pi um, because it can be quite slow. Um, so, what we're going to do is we need to run the real VNC viewer. So, if I type in VNC viewer with an ampersand on my computer, if you're using Windows, uh, I've got another video showing how to get VNC up and running. Uh, but if your VNC is up and running and it's running slowly, um, run your VNC viewer. Launch the Raspberry Pi. And then log in. And you can see uh, if you use the normal Pi desktop, it's not too bad. But what I'm going to do is I am going to log out of there. I'm going to switch to the XFC session. And if I click there, you can see how long it's taken to load up the menu. If I come down here, it's very slow. So what I'm going to do is log out again. switch back to the Raspberry Pi session I'm going to open up a terminal window and I am going to type sudo nano boot config If I scroll down here, you'll see there is an enabled DRM V3D driver. And what we want to do is comment that out. So put a hash in front of it, press Control and O to save, then Control X, and then we're going to reboot the Raspberry Pi. this now because obviously it's rebooting. If I log in again, so if you get to a screen that says cannot open desktop, what you need to do is unplug your Raspberry Pi and plug it back in again. Next time it boots up, it will work. Um, but once you get to the login screen, we're going to switch this back to the XFCE session. We're going to type in the password. And you'll see that it's now a lot more responsive than it was before. And that's it. That's the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.